Kestjoni Kamatai, the Honourable Member for Vancouver Quadra. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to congratulate my colleague from King's Hans for his very clear uh, presentation of do downsides of this uh, budget uh, 2013. Truly outstanding. And um, I, my question is about uh, about the increase in taxes on dividends for small and medium-sized businesses. Now we know that uh, dividends is uh, sometimes a way that uh, small business people can uh, can withdraw some funds from their company. Often they use that to reinvest in the company. Uh, small and medium businesses often don't have access to public uh, public capital. They're not listed on a stock exchange, so that's necessary for their growth and for their ability to hire. Uh, and to invest in innovation. So uh, what explanation uh, would the member have for why there should be, uh, why, why it would make sense to put billions of dollars in extra taxes on dividends for small and medium-sized businesses over the coming five years? The Honourable Member for King's Hands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and the, the, the Honourable Member, my colleague from Vancouver Quadra, knows of which she speaks because she is one of the most successful entrepreneurs uh, in this house. Uh, she and her family, she and her husband and family have built a, a global business in the reforestation business and uh, it's, it's one of the great examples of, of uh, green businesses uh, that uh, can employ Canadians and create the green jobs of tomorrow and she's absolutely right that uh, the Conservative increase by $2.3 billion taxes on small business are going to cost jobs. You can't take $2.3 billion out of the economy without it affecting jobs in Canada. And it is part of, of uh, the Conservatives' continued tax hikes on the job creators of, of, of Canada, and that is the small businesses that we need to be encouraging to grow and prosper and employ more Canadians. Instead, the Conservatives are taxing the heck out of them. Thank you. 